Hey, do you have absolutely zero personality and want to give your shitter opinion about regurgitated information until you become irrelevant? Well then look no further than at the life of a commentary YouTuber. Your days usually consist of three things when you are not editing. One, scrolling through Twitter. Two, scrolling through TikTok. Three, recording the dog shit Call of Duty Cold War gameplay that you're going to use in the background of your video. But remember, you are a commentary YouTuber, not a journalist, so you'd rather die than do a lick of research yourself. You are usually depressed and make self-deprecating jokes in order to entertain the masses. You do not have a controversial bone in your body and only say things such as, oh I don't care what anybody says, when literally everybody will agree with you after you say what you say. You probably wanted to kill yourself once your most viewed video became a video about Charlie D'Amelio dancing. You have to constantly remind yourself that whenever you make a video, you cannot say anything remotely out of pocket or else the very people you cater to will cancel you on Twitter. Actually, do you want to shit talk somebody who committed a heinous crime such as murder but you accidentally misgender them? Watch how fast niggas switch up on you to defend a fucking murderer. The ultimate goal is to become a second rate version of Scarce's channel. Hey what's up guys, it's Scarce here and today I have my second video for the day guys, that's right we're gonna have a double upload for today. With the life of making shit content comes lack of self-awareness. There will be times where you get 10,000 views and get zero subscribers from that video. And then you question why no one subscribed even though you said to subscribe 20 times throughout the video. Also, you should definitely subscribe, you fucking dick muncher. But what you fail to comprehend is that nobody's there for your lack of personality and rather to see why the fuck Gabby Hanna is showing her feet on OnlyFans. In fact, the only way you're gonna make it from 100 subs to 1,000 subs is by doing gift card giveaways. Wanna join my free gift cards giveaway? Subscribe to my channel. But you never actually have to confirm that you fulfilled your promise. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom in the life of a commentary YouTuber. You get to collab with people whose content is probably more shit than yours. Sometimes you can talk about things that are actually interesting, such as the EDP situation. Oh, nope, too bad uh, YouTube demonetized the video. You get to tweet the word boobs and people will actually like your tweet. You will never run out of ideas because you can just steal someone else's idea and no one's gonna say shit about it. I literally stole this idea from a memeless video from 2016. Now, you could do what I'm doing right now and do something completely different with the idea. Or, you can take those exact points that were made inside the video and use them as your own. And no one on YouTube can call you out for it because that's bullying according to YouTube's terms and services. Now, what do you need to be a commentary YouTuber that is hard stuck at a thousand subscribers? Something that records audio. Notice I did not say a microphone. If you can make a potato take in audio, go for it. I saw a 10 year old make a TikTok commentary and was probably two inches away from his phone's microphone. That shit sounded like ass and that shit blew up. You can do it, bro. I'm assuming that the next thing that you think I'm gonna say is editing. Well, you were wrong. You could literally upload the video that you were supposed to talk about in its entirety and it will count as commentary. The last thing that you need to know is keywords for pure reaction commentary. These words include, wow, no way, cool, whoa. Oh, and my favorite, repeating literally everything that just happened in that video. So come on, what are you waiting for? Dive headfirst into this dying genre of YouTube.